840 on this Monday morning, and I think it's fair to say the Reds have started off this season with a bang this year. While fans are excited to see the team develop new talent, you know, a new book is looking at the history of one of the Reds legend. We're talking about Pete Rose, of course. So joining us this morning is author Heath O'Brien to talk about his new book. As we can see it right here, Charlie Hustle, The Rise and Fall of Pete Rose and the Last Glory Days of Baseball. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me, Dan. What? Okay. First off, Pete Rose is an enigma in and, in and of himself. Talk about just your research into his early life, baseball, all the controversies, and, and what you got out of reviewing, writing, and, and researching this book. So I'm a native of Cincinnati, born and raised, yeah. so I understand this story in an innate way. Yeah. And I wanted to go back and tell it because I felt that it had never been looked through through the right prism. Okay. I wanted to look at the story of Pete Rose, the man, uh, the story of this ordinary man from an ordinary background on the west side of Cincinnati who had ordinary talents, frankly, and, and, and probably never should have made it to the major leagues, much less been the all-time hit king, scrapes and claws his way to the top, and then, and then loses it all through his own choices, his own decisions, his own addictions. And, and I worked uh, with this book to get unprecedented access to, to Pete Rose, to the folks in his inner circle, and, and ultimately spoke to three different men who placed his bets on baseball. And what I hope I have here is, is, is a, a compelling human story that just uh, sort of happened to play out on an American baseball field. With that said, I mean, the reviews are fantastic. They're, they're coming out right now. You have a list of them on the book itself. But talk about, you know, you talk about the lens of Pete Rose and, and that human narrative. What's your takeaway from your research? I mean, obviously you put the book together and people are gonna read it and they're gonna soak it in for what they, they garner from the story. But what was your takeaway from the very book you wrote? So one of the reason why I believe this book is unique or at least rare is that I'm, I'm not here to make a case for Pete Rose. Right. I'm not here to make a case against him. This isn't even really about the Hall of Fame or anything like that. Uh, one key takeaway I have is that it's clear to me based on my reporting that Pete Rose uh, fails off the field as a man uh, for the same reasons why he ever succeeded on it. Yeah. You know, that fury, that unwillingness to bend, that unwillingness to be vulnerable or to be weak, and, and this enduring optimism, because Pete had this as a player, yeah. to, to, that he will always prevail. Those things make him succeed as a player. He may, th those things make him the icon that, that, we will, that we will cheer for. Yeah. But those same qualities are the ones that will almost doom him to failure in the 1980s when he starts to spin into a tornado of his addictions. And, yeah. and while Pete still struggles to confront that today, the addiction piece of it, uh, it's clear based on my reporting that Pete was absolutely addicted to gambling in, in the 1980s. And, and when he's confronted about these addictions, instead of uh, being honest and, and telling the truth about what was happening, he can't be vulnerable, he can't be weak, and for that reason, he's going to go down. Well, and that's the thing. So when people want to undoubtedly pick up this book and, and talk to you, you have some events around town where you're going to be doing that. So uh, give people at home, uh, I guess, the insight of where they can meet you and talk to you about this. Sure. Well, thank you. Yeah, I'll be at uh, Joseph Beth in Rookwood tomorrow night, Tuesday at 7 o'clock. And then I have an event on the west side on Wednesday uh, at the Rapid Run Middle School through the Delhi Historical Society. And Joseph Beth will be there that night to sell as well. And that event on Wednesday is also at 7 o'clock. Well, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think it says it on here too, but you're already a New York Times bestselling author. So obviously a lot of research and good writing has gone into this latest uh, form of entertainment for a lot of people who love picking up a good book and reading it. What would you say as we wrap up is the selling piece for this book because there have been so many books about Pete Rose, of course. There are moments in this book and scenes in this book that have appeared else, never before. Okay. And, and I believe because I'm a Cincinnatian, uh, because I, I, I grew up here, because I, 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 I played ball with guys like Pete Rose, right. that I had an insight here that maybe others did not. Well, well done. Thank you for Thank coming you in and that perspective.
obviously, this book. You can uh, check it out. And it's available, I would assume, online pretty much everywhere, correct? And anywhere they sell books. All right, so that information can be found on our website at fox19now.com. Charlie Hustle and Keith O'Brien right here in studio. All right, we'll be right back.